fused deposition modeling. At the end of this lesson, you will be able to explain the principle and process of fused deposition modeling. Explain the process parameters of fused deposition modeling. And, explain the advantages and disadvantages of fused deposition modeling. Introduction to Fused Deposition Modeling In the fast-paced world of the automobile industry, time is of the essence, and innovation is the key. A team of engineers and designers embarked on the challenging task of developing a groundbreaking new vehicle design within a tight deadline. Their traditional method involved, skilled artisans laboriously crafting each part of the prototype through clay modeling, a meticulous process that required hours of work and fine-tuning. While this approach provided a tangible and hands-on experience, it proved to be too slow and couldn't keep up with the tight deadline approaching rapidly. As the deadline for the prototype's completion rapidly approached, the team faced another obstacle. The exterior of the clay model they painstakingly created did not meet their expectations. Despite the dedication and craftsmanship of the workers, the design was not shaping up as they had envisioned. Amidst the pressure to deliver a top-notch design, the team has come to know about fused deposition modeling, that is FDM, an innovative technology making waves in various industries. FDM revolutionized the prototyping process with 3D printing capabilities, offering accurate design and better aesthetics. Do you know what FDM is, how it works and how it helped the team of engineers to overcome their problems? Come on! Let us discuss FDM in this video. Principle and Process of Fused Deposition Modeling FDM is a type of 3D printing, and it works by building the prototype layer by layer. It's like stacking thin slices on top of each other to create a complete object. FDM was developed by Stratasys Limited, an American-Israeli manufacturer of 3D printers, a company based in Eden Prairie, Minnesota, back in the early 1990s. Originally, it was mainly used for concept modeling, but now it's widely used for various applications, including creating casting masters and direct use prototyping. Now let's dive into the principle behind fused deposition modeling. The principle of FDM is based on three key elements, surface chemistry, thermal energy, and layer manufacturing technology. The process begins with the material, typically in filament form which is loaded into a specially designed head. Inside the head, the filament is melted, and the molten material is extruded onto the model's surface. As it is extruded, it is cooled and thus solidifies to form the model. This layer-by-layer -layer approach allows the model to be built up gradually, similar to how other rapid prototyping, that is, RP systems cooperate. The result is a three-dimensional model that accurately represents the desired design. Now let us understand how the FDM process works in detail. First, we create a geometric model of our conceptual design using CAD software, and this model is saved in files with IGES or STL formats. Next, the CAD file is imported into the system, where it goes through quick slicing and support generation software. This software slices the model into horizontal layers. We can adjust the slice thickness, typically ranging from 0.172 to 0.356 mm, depending on the requirements of our models. The tool paths for the build process are then generated and sent to the FDM machine. Next, the modeling material comes in spools, similar to a fishing line. This filament is fed into the FDM machine's extrusion head, where it's heated to a semi-liquid state. The semi-liquid material is then precisely extruded through the head, one ultra-thin layer at a time, following the tool paths created earlier. As the head moves on the XY plane, it builds up the desired layer, and when one layer is complete, the head moves on to create the next layer. The horizontal width of the extruded material can vary, typically between 0.250 to 0.965 mm. This feature, called road width, can vary from slice to slice. FDM allows us to use two types of materials, a primary modeling material for creating the model geometry, and a secondary material, or release material, 
for building the support structures. Depending on the shape of the object or piece to be manufactured, it is necessary to consider the need to build supports while the piece is built. The air surrounding the head is maintained at a temperature below the material's melting point, and the exiting material quickly solidifies. The release material bonds with the primary material and can be washed away once the 3D model is complete. Now, when it comes to materials used in FDM, we have various options. The most commonly used material is polylactic acid, but we can also work with polycaprolactone, polypropylene, polyethylene, acrylonitrile butadiene styrene, wood, nylon, metals, carbon fiber, graphene doped polylactic acid, and more. With FDM, we have the flexibility to choose the right material that suits our prototype's specific needs and properties. Process Parameters of Fused Deposition Modeling now, let's discuss the key parameters that influence fused deposition modeling. These parameters fall into two main categories, machine parameters and material parameters. Machine parameters are the settings we specify in the slicing software when generating the G-code files for the 3D printer. On the other hand, material parameters are the properties of the filament material or materials being extruded through the nozzle. Let's see some examples of machine parameters and material parameters and how they affect the printing process. Machine parameters include printing speed, raster angle, melt flow rate through the nozzle, air gap, layer thickness, infill density, build orientation, and temperature. The printing speed determines how fast the extrusion head moves during printing, affecting the overall printing time. The raster angle determines the direction in which the material is deposited, impacting the strength and surface finish of the model. On the other hand, in terms of material parameters, properties such as thermal and mechanical characteristics, significantly influence both the extrusion process and the performance of the final print. Different materials have varying melting temperatures, flow rates, and cooling behaviors, which can affect the print quality, layer adhesion, and overall strength of the prototype. Selecting the right material for our specific design requirements is crucial in achieving the desired outcome. Advantages and Disadvantages of Fused Deposition Modeling Now let's explore some of its advantages and disadvantages in greater detail. Advantages The first advantage of FDM printers is ease of use. FDM printers are relatively easy to use and set up, making them accessible to beginners and hobbyists. Second is affordability. FDM printers are generally more budget-friendly compared to other 3D printing technologies. Third is wide range of materials. One of the greatest strengths of FDM is its ability to work with a wide variety of thermoplastic materials. Fourth is no support structures are required. FDM's unique layer-by-layer -layer approach reduces the need for extensive support structures. Fifth is versatility in applications. FDM can be utilized for a broad range of applications, from rapid prototyping to functional prototypes, jigs, fixtures, and even some end-use parts. Sixth is customization and iteration. With FDM, Designers can easily modify and iterate their designs rapidly. And, last is availability. FDM 3D printers and materials are widely available, with numerous manufacturers and suppliers worldwide. Disadvantages, lower resolution and surface quality, is the first disadvantage of FDM printers. FDM printed parts may exhibit visible layer lines, leading to a lower resolution and surface quality. Second is the limited mechanical strength. While FDM can produce structurally sound parts, the layer-by-layer -layer nature of the process can result in anisotropic properties. Third is warpage and shrinkage. Some materials used in FDM, such as ABS, can be prone to warping and shrinkage during cooling. Fourth is print speed. FDM printing can be relatively slow, especially for high-quality prints with finer layer resolutions. Fifth is, post-processing may be required. In some cases, 
FDM prints may require additional post-processing steps, such as sanding, smoothing, or painting, to improve the surface finish and eliminate visible layer lines. And last is material considerations. While FDM supports a wide range of materials, users should be mindful of the compatibility of certain high-performance or specialized filaments with their specific FDM printers. Despite these challenges, the advantages of fused deposition modeling make it an excellent choice for the team engineer's project. By leveraging the technology's ease of use, material versatility, and cost-effectiveness, the team can confidently move forward with the goal of creating a groundbreaking vehicle design. With their understanding of fused deposition modeling and its advantages, the team of engineers and designers dove headfirst into applying the technology to their vehicle design project. They quickly set up the FDM machine and imported their 3D model into the slicing software, fine-tuning the machine parameters to ensure optimal printing results. The FDM printer was loaded with a spool of PLA filament, a material known for its ease of use and environmentally friendly properties. In the initial phase, they decided to stick with PLA due to its versatility and familiarity. As the FDM printer completed its final layer, the team gathered around the completed prototype, marveling at the level of detail and accuracy they had achieved. The FDM printed model showcased the intricate curves, sharp edges, and smooth surfaces they had envisioned from the start. Conclusion? The FDM prototype not only met their aesthetic expectations but also demonstrated remarkable mechanical strength, providing the team with confidence in the robustness and functionality of their design. With their successful FDM prototype in hand, the team was filled with a sense of accomplishment and satisfaction. The team knew they had made the right decision in adopting fused deposition modeling for their project. Not only had they met their tight deadline, but they had also created a high-quality prototype that showcased their innovation and expertise. Summary Fused deposition modeling is an extrusion-based rapid prototyping process. FDM works on the principle of heating the material which is generally in the form of a thermoplastic filament. The model is built layer by layer, like the other RP systems. Fused deposition modeling is influenced by various parameters, namely machine and material parameters. The advantages of fused deposition modeling are ease of use, affordability, wide range of materials, no support structures required, versatility in applications, customization and iteration, and availability. The disadvantages of fused deposition modeling are lower resolution and surface quality, limited mechanical strength, warpage and shrinkage, print speed, post-processing may be required and material considerations.